in this demonstration, I'm going to show you how we make the fridge magnets using the kitchen tools, stamps and die sets that match. And these are the ones here. So when I stick these onto anything metal or I stick these onto um, a fridge, they will stick on. If I've got one here, you can see that they stick on exactly. So it's not with the dot, it's actually sticking straight to the metal. And it's a really simple process, but makes a really nice gift or something different to do. And again, with no sharp edges, if you help them with the die cutting, then children could do this easily. So I'm gonna move the book out of the way. What I've got here is this is a very thin magnetic sheep cheat. It's almost what I call a cheap one. That's got the words mixed up. So it's a very thin magnetic sheet. And I'm going to take a piece of standard card. This is 300 GSM and I've just spray glued the back. So I'm going to turn it over, make sure that you stick it down to the right side. The shiny side is what's magnetic. The other side isn't. So I'm going to stick this down onto the non-magnetic side. Give it a good press, although it is going to go through my die cutting machine. I'm simply then going to bring in my press to impress. I'm going to place my magnetic sheet with my card on in the top right hand corner, which means that if this gets moved or pulled away, I can go back into the top right hand corner. It's in the right place. But you see, because it's a magnet, it should hold. Of course, it's a very thin magnet. So it won't hold because it's not directly to metal. So we'll use our magnets again. And I'm just going to stamp this. And this time I'm going to actually use the onyx black. So I'm going to stamp as I would do normally. And this is A6 size. So if you get an A4 sheet of thin sort of magnet, you'll be able to make four full sets of these. You can see there, I've got that. Now, again, because I'm going onto the magnet, I'm going onto a harder surface, it may need inking twice, which is why stamp press is really important. I'm just gonna ink that a second time and press that down. And it's about even pressure. It's not about how much pressure, it's about making sure that you press everywhere. You can almost go like that. You can see there, I've got those all beautifully stamped. So I'm going to take those out and I'm simply then going to take the matching die, match up the corners. So match corner to corner and you can see through so you can just make any fine corrections that you feel you need to. There we go. Corners right, corners right. Tape that die down. And when you're using a magnet, just make sure you really well tape it because we're going through a lot. And I'm going to run that through my die cutting machine. Now we are asking it to cut through the magnetic sheet and card. So make sure you get that right at the side where the pressure in your machine will always be highest. And if you feel the need to, you can always shim that with a piece of card on top, which will just help to increase the pressure. I'm using a piece of scrap that I'd already cut from and we'll run that through our so machine. That's been run through my machine. So we can see there it's cut through nicely. I'm just going to peel it off and you'll see the pieces won't just fall out because this is quite a thick material that we've used. So you don't have to worry about them falling all over the place. And all we have to do is from the back, gently push each one out. It's almost like if you've ever had those sort of magnetic sheets before with items cut from them, or you've had sort of like the grey board ones, they need easing out. So I'm just going to push each one and get each one out. So it may take a little bit of pressure. I'm not gonna do all of them. But if you can see, at first you feel like the line's not going. I'll show you from the back, you can see where the line is. So you can push from the back and you'll see it will simply tear out. So it just takes a little bit of work, but I don't want anyone thinking, oh, well, John made, made this look really easy and they just dropped out. They don't, you need to pull them out, but then I've actually got a fridge magnet made and stamped. And I'm simply again going to take a little bit of the tea ink and I'm just going to shade that and colour it a little bit. But again, you could colour these in bright colours. You could colour these and make sets of them as gifts. Really, really simply. There's a few that I've actually made up here. I wonder if I've got, what haven't I used yet? Tell you what, I haven't used one of the knives. 
So I'm going to pull one of the knives. So again, the same idea, but I'm just going to put brown on the handle this time because the knife would be likely a little bit down that side, but it's likely to be quite bright and sharp. So you can see there I've got a selection of fridge magnets, which I can then decorate anything with. 